Alrighty, boys and girls. We are almost at 130 barrels. dirty I had I had to haul something called invert the other day which is basically like mud so it messed up my sight glass my tube this is this is what you call your sight glass on the trailer and that way you can see how much water is in your tank we are just about there it's a really pretty day today it's crazy sun coming out so nice not much wind Good. We always have to leave a ticket in the mailbox, so we'll do that. I already, already filled it out, and I texted dispatch, and that's them just now. So we'll see if we have another job to do. Cool, we do. I always tell them, okay, and thanks, so that way because they're the ones that keep you busy. You wanna make sure dispatches are always clear and concise, so that way you don't have any problems. We are almost there. tell what looks like the last dirty looking at a different line we're going to close this first valve and then we'll go close that second one you want to open up your valve here let it suck all the salt water out and what i do is i open this up and then i suck the tank up to the bottom of the guinea box cap on flip your little handle back down Lay that there for a second, and let's go close the second valve. All right, I want to make sure it's closed. All right, good, good, all right. Grab our line, put it back on the trailer, and we'll go close our valve. You always want to uh, you always want to turn the source of the water off first. So wherever the water is coming from, you always want to do that. See the bubbles going in the sight glass. We'll close our valve. Get our ground wire. Curl it back up. Hook it out of the way. All right. Go we'll put our ticket in the mailbox. Maybe time to roll. A lot of them in there. And they keep rocks on everything. That way when you open it up the wind doesn't blow it off because there's a lot of wind here. <laughs> Alright, let's get back in the truck. We're gonna head to the disposal now. See how that works. Remember, put in the clutch, put it in gear, take it out of gear, and then your PTO is off. All right. You always want to have safety gear on, your protective glasses, your FR gear, which is fire-resistant gear. So, all right, 